Hi and welcome to Take Time to Create. My name is Linda and this is where we take time out of our everyday lives to create new and wonderful things. So I have a new planner for you guys. Um, Clever Fox, this company here, I really love their logo, isn't that adorable? Reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review one of their planners. And I said, sure, they must have known that I needed a new planner, that I was, uh, my other planner was almost done and I was needing a new one. So I said, sure. So I got the um, non dated weekly planner. When you open it up, you have a warranty card, which is great, and no hassle refund. Um, so that's really super duper. We've got some reminder stickers. They're kind of cute and the rainbow colored. Um, for handy, for those of you that use your planner in this way, I'm going to show you what I do with my planners. Um, but these are really great. We also have a little how to use the planner. So lots of instructions in here. But let's get to the good stuff. We're just going to jump right in. Uh, and before Clever Fox had reached out to me, I'd never heard of this company. And I was very excited for them to reach out. Um, I picked the color and I love this royal blue and um, it's very pretty. It's, it's a very nice cover. So I do like that. Um, just a little cover sheet. And then we open it up. It's got a little pin holder and let's see how big it is. I just have a pencil here. Fits the pencil very easily. Let's see here. I have a thicker marker here. This is the Faber-Castell marker. Um, and it doesn't fit this as easily. So, cause it's a, oh, there we go. So yeah, it does fit a thicker marker. Um, pencils and regular pencils and pens fit perfectly in there. Sometimes these little guys are too tiny. They make the elastic too small. Sometimes they make them too big, but this is a good size. Uh, let's see here, let's open it up. So you have um, name, phone number, if you want to put that on there. You have some gratitude and daily ritual rituals and affirmations, um, vision boards, which I love. I think this is terrific. And, and I don't think a vision board has to be done at the beginning of the year, January 1st. Everybody does a vision board. You can do a vision board anytime you want. It, you know, if you're looking to, to change or you want to make some new goals, I say do a vision board right now. Um, my goals, and, and I really also think goals can happen at any time too. That's why I don't like the dated ones. Um, start these journals anytime you want. Just go to town. Um, mind map, we've got more goals and my focus. All right. So you have a calendar here with uh, habits to adopt, skills to learn. Let me hold this up for you. Um, things to avoid, places to go, people to see. And I really like all of these things. I've got monthly goals and wins and how I'll improve next month, which I really like that too. How I'll improve next month is always a good question. It's a lot of self-reflection and I absolutely approve of that. So we've got this each month like this. Then we flip over here and it looks like it's a weekly. Okay. Um, so we've got days of the week here and Saturday, Sunday, main goal, weeks, priorities, notes, personal to-do list, weeks, wins, how I'll improve next week. Oh, I really like this. This is terrific. What I love about this book is that the paper is very thick. It's not super thin. Uh, so I do like that a lot. Let me move the box. Okay. So here's my previous journal that I finished. Oh, I just decorated the back. <laughs> so give yourself permission to decorate the cover, decorate the back. Um, I might have a video. Uh, no, I don't think I have a video of this, but um, definitely I took pictures and I put them on my Instagram. So if you follow my Instagram, you've already seen this. But this is how I usually use um, my daily journals like this. And this is... Um, is this a Dilutions? Pretty sure, but I'm not 100% sure. So how I use this is I use this as a look back. So at the end of the week, uh, I go and I look back, what did I do? What happened that week? Um, so, I mean, for so last year, July, you know, I talked about the, the main thing that happened that week was my husband left to go on a um, business trip and then I just kind of decorated and I just kind of journaled it and just did more of an art journal. Um, Independence Day. And so that's how I use a daily planner journal like this. And that's because I have 
a Google Calendar and I have work calendars and most of my day-to-day -day appointments and meetings are scheduled in a digital calendar. So I use this more as a look back. What, what happened during the week? What was important? Um, so I've got my first craft fair of the season that I talked about. This week, nothing happened. Not Nothing big. I mean, meetings happened and I went to work every day and I, I did videos and all of the standard stuff, but a big life event, not really. Um, so I just decorated the page um, and just enjoyed it. Saw a movie, um, just decorated the page. So this is how I usually do this. Um, oh, this was parent orientation at college for our son. Now give yourself permission as you do these journals, as you do this new journal, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this journal in just a second. Um, but give yourself permission to skip a page. If you forget to do a week, that's okay. If you forget to do two weeks or a month, that's okay. And I know a lot of us just get in the habit and they just, they fall apart and they say, oh, I skipped a week. The whole journal is just garbage. It's gone. I, I can't use it anymore. Give yourself permission to skip a week. It's okay if you miss it. You know, you can catch up if you want or just leave it. And I've got quite a few here. I fell apart, but then I caught back up when it got um, toward the winter. So, I had to give myself permission. I had to say, you know what? It's okay if I don't fill in those days, if I forget about those days, if if it happens. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Look, we did yoga with kangaroos. Look at that. So much fun. And those kangaroos were so adorable. Okay, so I grabbed some supplies and I just kind of keep all of my journal supplies together so that when I'm ready to go back and reflect for the week, I can just um, grab it and just use it. Uh, I have some stamps. Let's see here. And what I like to use um, are stamps, and and I like to I like to handwrite a lot of things because it's a lot of work to stamp out all the numbers, and I am not interested in doing a lot of work. So I just grab um, one of these circles, and I'm thinking these are dilution stamps. I love them. Um, I love the words because I can't write like this. My handwriting's a little bit on the atrocious side. So um, I just use stamps when I need to write the months, the days of the week. We are just going to start with last week. And that's where I'm starting this whole journal is last week, which I think is a fine week to start. I have these little tiny ink pads or dye based ink. And um, since I travel with this bag, I just put some washi tape on them because it sometimes leaks, um, you know, they'll open up and just these little travel guys aren't the best. And I'm just going to put some circles here and we're going to see how well this paper holds up because this is how I do it. And everybody does these a little different. And if you're like me, I love watching the people with their bullet journals. Oh my gosh. People do the most beautiful things with their bullet journals. The writing that they do and the beautiful designs and decorations that they do, I'm amazed and I'm always in awe and I just think it's absolutely marvelous. Um, but I have to say that's not the way I work. And so I tried to do that and I just got frustrated because that wasn't what I did. I'm more of a throw things on, see what happens. We're just gonna go to town. All right, so I gotta get the right days on here. So Sunday was the 23rd, and Saturday was the 22nd. So I just stamped the circle, then I just wrote on there. My week last week was not very exciting. Uh, lots and lots of business meetings, lots of appointments, um, lots of just going to work, day-to-day -day work. Thank Ah, I say, but we did go to a movie. We went and saw Men in Black International and I got a kick out of it. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of put it here in the middle. I'm gonna decorate a page around it. Oh, let's see. Oh, nothing leaked through. Look at that. I used dye-based ink and markers and it did not leak. Wow, this paper is really great. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to um, kind of decorate this side here. See what we can do.
So just like that, it's just a quick, simple page. Some pages I go to town more, some I just do something simple like this. I love quotes. So I always like to grab a really cute quote, a fun quote. I usually put a quote on my page, let me show you. So like this, I usually put um, a, a quote somewhere on there that says, be true, be you, be kind. I, I just really love them. So let me find a good quote to put on this page. Now I am going to go and fill this out myself. And you know, it's more for me a self reflection. Oh, let me put June up here. So this is June 2019. Cool. So that way we know when, so you put the month and the year and then you put your days. Um, this will probably be more of a self-reflection. So at the end of the week, when I put whatever fun activity I want to highlight, um, I might talk about it some more. I put it in the notes, kind of make it more of a journal entry for me. Um, talk about goals for next week. So that's kind of more on the personal side. And I, sorry guys, I don't think I'm going to put it on here for you, but I do like the paper. So it is holding up the markers. I'm wiping it and uh, nothing's coming up. So let's find a really good quote. Let's see here, this is Create 365, The Happy Planner. Let's see if there's something in here that I like. Uh, this quote is perfect. It says, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. And that is the whole theme of my bullet journal planners, any kind of journal, start where you are, start the day you get it, um, and use what you have. And I'm just using supplies that I have around my studio and do what you can. And I'm just doing the best I can, aren't we all? <laughs> So I am going to kind of put this, I'm going to put it over here on the habits and skills because I, I'm not going to really use that habits and skills like that. Um, and just do it like this, just stick there. And there we go. Um, this planner is really beautiful. So I definitely like it. Thank you again to Clever Fox for sending me this journal. I am in love with it. So as this book is done, I forgot to flip to the back of the book and show you guys what's at the back. The uh, last few pages are this grid paper. Um, so it's got the, the little dots in the grid. So you can use it for drawing. You can use it for notes. You can use it for more journaling. Lots of options to use this back for. Um, and then there is this pocket in the back, which is a pretty good size pocket. So it expands out to a pretty nice size. Uh, I forgot to show you guys that. So I probably should have flipped through it earlier, but sorry. Anyway, so that's what's at the back. Now, if you find that your um, book is getting to be more of a triangle because you're putting all your goodies in there and it's just getting super full, what you can do is remove some of these grid papers in the back. Now be very careful because it's all bound together. Let's see if you can see it with, um, string. It's, it's like a string bind. So, uh, don't cut that. So I would use, you know, leave like an inch or so, or maybe a little more, um, and just, you know, kind of reduce some of the bulk if you need to, if your book is becoming more triangle shaped than flat as you move along. Um, and you know, you've got this nice elastic band. You've got plenty of room for expansion. And if you're like me, you're going to skip a few weeks here and there because well, life gets in the way and I just end up forgetting and I skip a few weeks and they do have three really pretty ribbons in the book. So you can use these to, um, you know, so maybe I would like to bookmark in the back of my grid paper. I'm writing something back there. Maybe I'm writing a story. This is a good place to put thoughts down, lists, whatever you want. Um, maybe this one can be at the beginning where I'm at the actual month of, or, you know, my mind map or something like that, or the month here where I've got, you know, everything kind of planned out. And then the third ribbon of the actual week that's going on. So, um, you can spread those out and have those three ribbons. So it's easy, easy to find where you need to be in your planner there. Yeah. So there we go. That is my planner and that's my review on the planner. They do have a variety of planners on their website. So if this style doesn't work for you, they do have other styles. So go check them out. All of the information is in the description box down below with all of the links and all that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. So you know, when I post new videos, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and on my blog. I do have two Instagrams. I have Take Time to Create, which is all my crafty goodies. And I have Linda's Journey 78. It's all my personal stuff, family, vacations, all of that other stuff. I would love to have you follow along on any or all of them. All of the links are in the description box below. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.